so here we have the newest fan from Fresh Filter. It's the Hyper Fan from Sunlight Supply. It's got a five year warranty. It is the smallest eight inch fan that we've come across, but it's really cool. It's an EC motor and it runs off of this speed controller that's built in. The reason why they had a particular type of motor that they paired in this fan versus standard fans is it gives the fan a capability to go to a crawl speed. If you're growers at home and you've taken X fan and bought a speed controller, you might have noticed that it only goes to maybe 50% or 60% of the fan's capability, and then the motor just makes a funny vibration noise, but it doesn't really dim past that 60 or 50% setting. Because of the motor type that they paired with this fan and this rheostat, you have the ability of functioning the control all the way down to 35% of the fan speed. So it gives you functionality over this 8-inch fan that you haven't had before with other brands. Let's take a look at that in action but the rheostat's off, so let's go ahead and turn the fan on. I have it at a 30% setting, and I'm gonna give you a visual representation just so you can see. Let's go ahead and take a dB test, 12 inches from the fan to see how loud it is. It's about 60. Now let's go ahead and speed it up to 50%, but I'm gonna go really slow so you can, you can see it. It's funny because we've ne I've never had a rheostat work in tandem with a fan balanced out to such a degree where as I am changing the rheostat, within milliseconds I can hear the fan winding up. This fan's actually starting to push itself off the table. Let's go ahead to 50%. Look at this fan, it's literally going to go off the table. This fan is very lightweight. This is how powerful this fan is. But for you growers at home, it's information that you need to know. This fan only runs 75 watts. This is the lowest wattage 8 inch fan we have ever come across on the market. Next part that really makes it attractive, the sleek, slim down design could fit in almost any space that we could come up with. The next benefit to this fan, it's actually quiet running. The other benefit, the rheostat is fully, I mean, incrementally, percentage-wise, the fan operated in comparison to me dialing in or dialing down the rheostat. Um, another benefit of this fan, warranty. It's got a five-year warranty. It's got the standard warranty in the industry. Comes with the mounting brackets built on. Uh, another benefit of the fan, it's actually really light. You know, those guys that have built their own grow areas with limited holding capabilities or limited um, strength capabilities, those guys with grow tents that are maxed out. Uh, this fan is just a little bit heavier than a booster, an age booster. So as you can see here with an 8 by 39 inch filter, this fan drops down to about 315 CFM with an 8 by 24 inch filter, which is probably the most standard that is purchased of the fresh filters in the 8 inch size. We look like we're about 275 CFM once you add this fan to that filter. An 8 by 16 inch filter, it's going to be right around 200 and maybe 60, 265 CFM. So those are important numbers for you guys that are going to be using this fan with the filter. This fan at full speed, it starts moving on its own. At 100% speed, it's actually running about 80. 83 watts. Let's go ahead and dim it down to about 75%. About 70 to 72 watts at 75%. Let's go 50%. About 50 to 55 watts. Let's go down to 35%, which is the lowest setting on the dimmer. So at the lowest setting, it's actually still pulling about still pulling about nine and a half watts. Okay, so pretty minimal. A length of six and a half inches. A height of about eight and three quarter inches, right around, right under nine inches. Eight inch fan, 710 CFM, let's say about 80 watts. So we're going over the hyper fan, and as you can see here, the hyper fan is significantly smaller than the same eight inch competitor Vortex fan, the S line, which is also a mixed flow fan and is the newest fan from Vortex. This is the newest fan from Sunlight Supply, which is the fresh filter brand, the Hyper Fan. What we're gonna do is just get a comparison test. We have both fans blowing outwards, so we're just doing this test to get an idea of how powerful 
the hyper fan is in comparison to a competitor fan on the market. So both the fans here are plugged into a power strip. We're gonna be turning them on simultaneously. But what I want you viewers at home to know is we're gonna do this test multiple times. So we're actually gonna do three tests to make sure that we've completed the information as thoroughly as possible. So which one do you guess is gonna win? I say the Vortex S series. You know, the Vortex I imagine with just looking at the fan and the CFM rating, the Vortex should overpower it, but... Well, are the CFMs the same? The, C the CFMs are actually very close to each other. They're only within about 10 CFM. So let's go ahead and turn that on. I win. Give it a second. Give it a second. Oh. This one's just, just winding up. Huh? The Hyper Fan won! Oh, this one's what? all sucked in though. It's sucking, but just barely. Not enough to suck in the bill. I just lost 20 bucks. Alright. So that's one. So obviously the Hyper Fan looks like it takes a, just a slight bit more of time to wind up completely. Once it wound up completely, it ended up overpowering the Vortex. So the Vortex wind up speed's actually a little faster than the Hyper Fan. And that, is something that you growers at home need to think about. If this fan is winding up faster than this fan, but this fan still has the ability to overpower it, if this fan is already winding up at a faster speed, this fan's having to work even harder to try to get it to wind up to its full speed. So knowing that this fan is winding up first and this fan is overpowering it after a certain period of time actually, it actually shows that this fan is quite a bit more powerful. But let's go ahead and run that test a second time. Now the hyperfans winding up, you can hear it. Wow. Wow. Look, there's not there's not even a breath of air coming out of this. There's a little bit of air going in, but not enough to completely suck in the bill. But there's definitely air flowing out of this side. These products as well as over 5,000 gardening products are available at monstergardens.com, the world's gardening leader. Please use the link below the screen.